All right, let's see what we got here. Cadillac Escalade brought us some parts from the dealer. Part number 228-46471. I wonder what it, we'll just figure that out right now. Survey says it's a battery cable. All right. Battery ground, body ground, engine ground. Looks like this is our task at hand. And an amp meter. Cadillac Escalade. Let's see what we got here. Uh, looks like it's that one over there. Mm, let's see. Okay, we run down to the block and then the other one goes. Where's that other one run to? That also goes down here, probably into the fender well. Okay, first things first. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's get this thing. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, <laughs> there, now we got some access. Doo -doo -doo -doo. They're not answering the phone, I can tell you that. I'm just gonna call over and over and over and over and over again one day. I will teach them. Vehicle electronic system powering down now. Pew. All right, we're disconnected. Let's go ahead and pull the cable off of the engine block, which uh, that one runs right, right there. Looks like a 15 mil on a stud. Let's pull it off there. Uh, we need to disconnect the amp meter, which is over here. And then I've got to go down from the bottom, reach behind the fender well, come up into the bumper slash fascia, and then the last loop of the ground cable is pointed forwards. Or I'm sorry, pointed backwards. You have to get at it from the front, but you can't because there's a car in the way. You guys will see. This will be good. Okay, let's get this probe disconnected from its mount, which is just held on with a little plastic push clip pin type of thing. And of course, it stayed on the car. Find me Cadillac, I will cut you. I will cut you bad. I'll cut you so bad, you wish I didn't cut you so bad. There we go. Ah, I got it. Give it the old reach around Erico style. Unclick. Okay, yeah, we're we're Freedom 99 here until I get, let's see, let's get this guy out. 15 mil. Na, 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 na. Unclickage. Now, don't let me forget there's two ground wires here, guys. Two ground wires. All right, now for the task of tracing this guy back down into the bumper. Let's go, uh, let's go down below. What was that? Juan, you sound like you were strangling a cat. Bro, I don't, I don't think it's gonna reach. <laughs> it's not, it's not gonna reach, man. All right, funny games are over. Let's get down to business. So, let's see what we got here. So we're down here and uh, under yon fender well. Let's get some lumens going so we can see. Now, I've already preliminarily scouted this out, but if we pull back on the fender well here, and we look right here. Ah, flashlight to the face. Come on, that's that's gonna leave a mark. Ow, all right, that one actually did hurt. It got me right in the mouth. Anyway, here's my ground wire. That one, this guy, there it is. And it comes around to the front 
of this uh, body mount right here. And you see that sticking out right there? That threads, those, those threads, that's the bolt that bolts the eyelet for this leg of the ground wire around. And it comes in from the front. Now, as you can see, space is at a premium. So I have no choice but to just kind of give it uh, maximum reach around and try to remove it with the ratcheting wrench. This should be good. Now, I believe in this uh, particular orientation, you guys are gonna be able to see. Uh, what I don't know is if I can if I can accommodate the camera flashlight and my uh, phalanges with a wrench at the same time. Or we're gonna try. I'm just kind of gonna reach up and I can't even see what I'm working on here. I'm just, I have my face somewhere else. So this is all happening uh, by the feel of my phalanges. There goes that flashlight again. Oh, of course, the magnet is sticking to my wrench. Oh, this is, uh, this is why I don't want to work on a Monday. I don't even know. I might just take the fascia off. I really don't know. Mustang. I don't even have the right size uh, wrench. That's a 13 millimeter. All right, coming back. We're going back in. Watch out, Mustang. These things scare me. Let's try. Okay, now my face is under the oil pan. Let's try this. Save a whole lot of time if I can do this. Um, no. It's not working out. Can't get the grip. Let's try another, another angle from my extremities here. Uh, it's not happening. All right, moving on to a socket and a ratchet. I need some offset, I think. Okay, it's not that 12 that I just had. Oh, where's that 13 that I just dropped? No. Man, did you ever just take a step back and, and go, what am I doing? <laughs> All right, this is silly. This 13 doesn't fit. Uh, let's try a 12. Did I get the, Yeah, that was a 13. I'm going to try a 12. I brought a 12 with me. And 12 doesn't fit. Is it a 10 after all? And all right, let's try again. So we have a 10. We can't get with a wrench. We have to get with a socket. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. We're learning. This is a learning experience. Or something. I'm gonna take the bumper off. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's try one more hand. And then we're taking the bumper off. Unless I can get it. Oh, look, I got a finger on it from this side. I reached over the frame. We're in business now. Unclick. <laughs> oh, this is going to take a while. Here it comes to 
wreck my day. Haha. Alright, I got the fastener out. Now, let's see how many wires we have there. Look at that, we got two. There's two ground wires hanging out there. Let us not uh, neglect the second one. And this is the one in question right here. So let's get out of here and go back up top and pull this wire out. That was fun. Where are you? Tooth breaking flashlight. Okay. Come on, ground cable. You're coming with me. Did you not hear me? thing does not want to leave. There. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off with what we know. And we know where this uh, amp meter sits. And we know that I just did that wrong because I have to squeeze this uh, battery lug through this hole right here. That was a mistake. No big deal. So we know that goes there. We know this goes here. Let's uh, plug this guy in. I'm doing the easy stuff first this time. And then we know this end goes under all these hoses and right up here to the engine block. aren't the cleanest right there. Time to polish that. Yeah, I'll do that with some spinny sandpaper. Nice and shiny. Ooh, it's getting a little warm. The engine block is already nice and shiny. I'm not sandpapering that. Uh, no re necessary. That sits like so. Uh, at least it does now. That's how I want it. Right there. Dunk, dunk. And click. Double click. All right. Nice. Okay. Now we just got to feed the other wire. This one. We have to root this one down to where it goes. Uh, some of it will take place right up here. And the rest of it, we're going back into the Cadillac dungeon. So we're going down and forward. All the way down, everybody. The whole kit and caboodle. I see it, I see it poking around over here up front. So uh, let's go grab it from this end and fish it through. Uh, there's that bolt, I see you. All right, 
now. Where is it? Of course, I don't see it here. There it is. It's right here. Yeah, I got you now. And this one goes up and over the top of this mount because we didn't see it from the back side so I'm trying to route it properly as we speak. I think I see it sticking out of the front there. I don't know, let's, let's feel it. Nope, can't find it. I hear it clanking around. Yeah, there it is. It made it a, made an appearance. Yeah. <coughs> All right, I managed to reach up and locate it. I, uh, I had to put the cam down to fish it through. I just couldn't fit enough stuff inside of that space. So sorry if you guys missed it. Uh, either way, let's set the uh, this bolt up. And I'm gonna reach up and put this thing in its home and we'll we'll get it tightened down. Hope y'all can see. If you can see, that's good. There. More lumens. Now I know you can see. Now I just gotta find the hole and we're good. Ha <laughs> ha! Get somewhere. Here it comes. And I lost it. Get in your hole. There. See the tab coming through the little alignment hole? That's how we know we're good here. Almost. Oh. Come on, you. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. You know what? I'm actually telling myself that. Oh. Yeah, almost. Come on, dude. Come on. Click. We got it. Woohoo!
Get out of here and put the rest of the little clips on that wire, uh, attach the battery, and then uh, we'll check it for trouble codes and whatnot. Uh, the symptom was is the clock was randomly restarting to zero, and uh, all the factory settings were being deleted as if um, as if the battery was disconnected. So our uh, our guy determined that the ground cable was faulty and uh, requested a replacement. Let me out of here. Woo! Click my toys here. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have the cable connected to its clip straight down on the frame rail right there. And there's another space where it's connected uh, right here on the, the, onto that AC line. So uh, with the exception of the negative battery cable, everything is properly uh, connected. We are, however, oh, we're smudgy on the lens. However, we're not out of the woods. I have to make the battery terminal shiny. It's hard to do without power tools. Nice and shiny. Hey, do you guys want to see me break the internet? Half inch impact gun. The half inch to three eighths adapter. A three eighths to quarter inch adapter. And a 10 millimeter socket. Let's go install some batteries. All right, let's torque this terminal down. I need more room. Let's go ahead and torque this terminal down now. Click. I know, that wasn't nice, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't help myself. I just had to do it. You know, real quick, let's check this positive connection for corrosion also. Hmm, it's stuck. nice that's super clean but it's not clean enough now it's extra clean and super shiny the internet with that one that's a guarantee click <laughs> shiny preservation so I believe I should issue a disclaimer Usually when I spray something or grind something or create a bunch of dust that could kill me later in life uh, You guys don't notice it due to film editing, but I always walk away to uh, go take another breath if I don't have a respirator Or I stay upwind of the situation I guess what I'm saying is I'm aware of the, the dangers to the respiratory system and I, I do what I can to mitigate said dangers. There, that didn't fit very well. Now it does. All right, good. Let us go starting the engine. All right, the time is 12.57 Eastern Standard Time, so I do believe I have to reset the clock and such. Let's see, push and hold. Take a while. 
Come on. You can do it. Um, 12.50. It's 12.58 now. Now he's always going to be early. There we go. For some reason it bugs me that this clock and this clock do not sync together. I think they should. Close enough. All right, mission complete. All right, everybody, that's gonna be a wrap for this one. Uh, this thing's gonna hang out in my stall for a little while. I'm gonna do a couple starts on it over the next hour or so just to uh, make a determination that this symptom doesn't present itself. I'll probably go drive it and throw a scan tool on it. Uh, I don't expect to yield any results, so I'm not gonna record any of that. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out right now. As always, I'd like to thank all you guys for watching my video. I wanna let you know that I appreciate you being here, especially since you're here all the way to the end. Since you are here all the way to the end, I'm going to assume that you like this video. And if in fact my assumption is correct, I would ask of you to communicate the fact that you did like this video to me effectively by tappy tapping that like button down below. Also, while you're down there, let's throw in some re-comments about that impact driver stuff that was on the battery because I, I thought that was kind of funny. So again, and as always, thank you guys for watching. And most importantly, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. Bye. Cadillac powering down.